In this video, I'm gonna show you how to reconstitute or mix a lyophilized or freeze-dried powdered peptide such as HCG, CJC1295 Ipamorelin, Semorelin, or Tesamorelin, or any other lyophilized medication. First, you're gonna have your bottle of peptides or HCG or any other peptide that you may use and your bacteriostatic water. The top of these bottles have removable tops when they come from the pharmacy. Now, once you remove these tops, they will not go back on. So you can discard them because they're not going back on. So just pop the tops of both, which exposes the plunger top or the part you'll be sticking the syringe through. I'm gonna be working with this syringe for my mixing, which is a 3ML 21 gauge one inch needle. Some of these pharmacies may send you a larger syringe due to the fact that you have to use a larger volume of water to mix the peptides, but I'm not gonna use this one today because the peptide I'm gonna mix requires only three mLs of fluid, which this syringe will hold. So I'll put this to the side. You can open these syringes first by just simply pushing it through. You don't have to peel it open. You can just simply push it through. This exposes the needle and the syringe, so you're ready to use it. Make sure at the beginning you kind of take note that this oftentimes is loose, so you wanna screw it closed clockwise or to the right just to tighten it up so it's nice and snug and then take the bottom and push it up to make sure you get any of that last bit of air out of there all right so you're going to take your alcohol prep pads if you have them open them up and you're going to clean the top of both the bacteriostatic water and the peptide that you intend to use don't throw this away because you'll use it again later if you're taking your first shot or you can discard it if you're simply mixing. All right, so now you're gonna take your syringe and needle and you're gonna take the top off to expose the needle. You're going to plunge it right through the dead center. Now the dead center is a circle. The exterior part is a little bit thicker and the needle won't go into it as easy. So you wanna go kind of like a dart right through the center, through the bullseye and then poke through. So now you can see if you look through the clear plastic that the needle is into the water. Turn it upside down and make sure if you're using the same bottle of water repetitively, the end part of the needle is still submerged in the fluid. If not, and it's gone above the water, you're simply gonna be drawing air. So now draw out the amount of water that it takes that the pharmacy has indicated you on the box how much to mix. Now this one I'm using is three milliliters. So I'll pull it back to get to three. Now, sometimes if you let go of this because you came against a vacuum, the bottle will actually start pulling the water back in like this. So what you need to do is get to the amount you want to be at, hold it there with your finger like this to stop it from going back up, and then you're going to see that the bottle basically comes right off. Now just so you can see this closely, there's two lines on this needle plunger that kind of indicates where that number is. The top line, not the bottom line, but the top line closer to the needle is the indicator of where the water line that you're kind of pulling to is. So use the top line for your reference. So this is three milliliters. Take your peptide and hold it at a slight angle. Usually I like to do mine on a countertop like this and poke this right through and I'll show you why because sometimes when you go in, the bottle will sometimes pull this water in pretty aggressively, which will foam up the peptides, which is not what you want. And with this one, it didn't. So this way I have to actually push the, the water in. So if it happened to pull it all in, which is fine, you just don't want it shooting straight down at the peptide really forcefully. And that's the same goes for, I don't want to put it this way and force the water down this way. I try to shoot it against the side of the glass. So it slowly goes in there. Now do it nice and slow, just so you avoid making it all foam up and bubble up. Get it to the point where you know you got that last bit of water, hold it here, and then pull it out. Recap your needle to dispose of later and put it to your side. Take the peptide and slowly swirl it. All right, you don't wanna shake this. A lot of people will shake these up, like shaking them vigorously. You don't have to do that. You can just take it nice and slow and swirl it. And what you're trying to do is just make sure all those little bits of white powder are now 100% dissolved. And that, my friends, is how you mix your peptides for use. Pro tip, this box that these peptides came in, open it back up, put it back inside here and put this now in the refrigerator. The reason I'm telling you to do that, because if you put that bottle in your fridge, there's a good chance that at some point in the day, you're gonna open up that fridge, it's gonna roll out and shatter on your kitchen floor. Not gonna be happy because you're just now broken entire bottle of peptides. So being in this little paper box, you're gonna prevent that. These are now ready to use.